You all right, babe? Morning, guys. Good morning. And what is it today? Friday. And what, how do you feel at standing outside? Bloody cold. <laughs> Do you believe it's 14.6 degrees here? I know, it? we're about 15 degrees in the highlands. Mm -hmm. The sun's trying to shine. Um, and we were like 25 where we came from. I know, it was quite warm in front. It was over mm. 20 every mm. day though, wasn't mm. it? Mostly, yeah. And we're both feeling a bit cold today, aren't we, after but all what that? what a great time we had. Oh, it was super, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. Now we're home, it's all chores now. Yeah, well, we've got, we've got a lot of the washing done. Van chores. Got to do the van chores, got to do the pooper and grey waste and all that. Yep. Got to start the car. I'm sure he's got a sort of a garden out. That's me back in the garden again. Uh, it's not looking pretty, but it's functional. The grass has been hacked. Just gone over with a mower on the highest level just so we can walk around the garden and get jobs done which you broke yeah pete's just shouting at me that i broke the mower yesterday i did well i didn't break it the uh, starter assembly went and uh, luckily we had the same model mower sitting on the side from a couple of years ago that the driver had gone on and uh, so we took the starter assembly off and just swapped it over five minute job good to go again what i must do this morning is cut down this buddleia that has grown about six foot while we were away. Before we were going to go away, I left it because it had so many buds on it and the bees and the butterflies love it. They're on it now and it always breaks my heart to cut down things that the bees are enjoying. The veggie garden's looking a bit neater now. You can see what we've got going on in there, not just three tons of grass. Been making up some worm food ready for them later today because they're getting a bit peckish and just looking around at all the jobs I've got to do. Nice to be back in the garden. Here comes Pete with all the clean laundry. Some of it. That's the bed in for the van. Got more yet. What is it, number 10? Number 10. There. That's it. Sorted. Uh. Is it saying this one? Yeah, it's empty. The water's just below that ridge at the bottom. That's below low, isn't it? Yeah, that's below minimum. So we need a drop of water. Oh. Glug, 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 glug. A bit, bit more. Where do you want it to? Top, top or middle? One, yeah. Top. Keep going then. Oh, I see it, yeah. Keep going. Was low. That do ya? I think that must have been low for a while. That'll keep us going for now. Okay. Can I get out of the way? You can. Go on then. Now see if the brakes work. That's seized. That'll be a big oopsie then. One of them. Is that how you fix it? Yeah. Big hammer? Big bloody hammer. Pete, are you huffing and puffing already? You ain't started yet. Peter, can I ask you a question? Yeah. It's the other one that's seized. Hey? It's the other wheel that's seized. Is it? Yeah, this one's turning. Oh. Sorry, I'm as bad. I was watching you. Show me again. Oh, brilliant. Woo hoo, all fixed. All fixed, it goes round and round. August in the Highlands. This is supposed to be a passing shower. Yeah. But at one o'clock, we got 8% chance of rain. Oh, so it's going to chuck right it down. Right through to again. three o'clock. Oh. But I don't know. We have to see. I have to see what It's easy enough now. 
I know, but it's made everything soaking again. Oh yeah, you won't be doing much with the grass, I'm afraid. Day two, and we ain't been shopping yet. Have a look at the fridge. And we went there, and it was bare. Now that's an idea. Why don't we, when it really starts raining, go shopping? Actually, we could do it. Get be a producer get time. That sorted out. Mm. All my baskets are empty. There's no salad. Mm. There's four cabbages in the cold drawer because I cut them before we went away. Yes. Do you remember? I cut yes. and wrapped them. And they've lasted six yes. weeks. They're absolutely fine. You've always got a gigantic bloody... I've drink. got a marrow. Marrow, yeah. I know. I, that's what we're having for tea tonight. Marrow. <laughs> so let's, I, go, let's go shopping then, shall we? Don't you want marrow for your tea? Not particularly, no. I was going to... Well, I don't know. How do you do it? You roast. I was going to roast it. Roast it, Mara. I'll give it a go. You've never made a meal yet that I've hated. Oh, that's in, good then. In all the 40... 43 years. Three years we've been... 44 years? 44 years. Jesus Christ. In all the 44 years that we've been together, you've See, never made a meal. even I can't remember. So, oh, that's lovely. Yeah, there you go. So you give it a go, will you? Yeah, let's all right. give it a go. We'll do that later then. Do you want me to show them how you do it? could do if you want yeah, it's going to okay. be winging it though i ain't got a recipe i was no. just going to make it up but right they'd be very much out there are we no we're not Blimey. i didn't think that was heavy oh shut up <laughs> well we've done the shopping done the shopping just gotta put it all away now. now we have oh and the parcel what's that uh, amazon delivery i'm gonna move that out of the way so we can put the shopping out all this money on the table. That's what's left of my Euros. <laughs> I'm going to France. <laughs> okay. Right, what we're going to do with this super size courgette that I came home and found in the garden, I thought I'd do a roasted marrow um, in chunks do it Moroccan style with onions and tomatoes and serve it on couscous. I the washing up and I find that if I line the tins with foil it makes it much easier for them to wash Right, that's the oven on uh, preheating it to about 220 I think I'm going to put some onions in I've got some red onions that I have left they're quite old so I will roast them that should keep them all right Going to put them at the bottom. Right, these have been in the cold. Um, they've been in the fridge for more than six weeks, but they're absolutely fine. Now, not onions for the worms. So the skins of these, you can compost them or put them in the bin, but the worms don't get these. left by the time it's finished roasting. Right, I think we'll put some pepper. And some salt. Right, that's ready for the oven. Right, when that's ready, I'm going to serve it with couscous. This is my quick, easy couscous. What you need is a box to put the couscous in, a measurer, and some boiling water. That's 
it. This is my measure for couscous. It's a little muffin tin. What I do is I put equal parts couscous and boil, boiling water out of the kettle. Um, we have one between us. But as long as you, it won't make any difference. As long as you do equal parts by volume of couscous and boiling water, the recipe works. The other thing I'll put into it, sometimes I put a bit of garlic in, a bit of salt if you fancy some salt. And I always like to put some sultanas in it. So there we go, a few sultanas gone in now. Now I can't use my little tin to measure the water, but I've done this lots of times and I know where it comes to on the jug, on my little glass jug here. So, pour that in. That's the water. Give that a little stir there like that. And that's it. Push, push, ready to go. What I've done is I've put in some whole small tomatoes and I've drizzled a little bit of honey over the top to help caramelise the vegetables and I've put the oven onto fan assisted so that the liquid can evaporate down a little bit. The broccoli's in the microwave so I'll be ready to eat in a minute and this is the couscous. When you take the lid off it looks a bit solid but you just put a fork into it and it breaks up it's all nice and loose there's no, um, doesn't go mushy. I don't like mushy rice and I don't like mushy couscous. So that's that. Kate and I will share that portion between us, that's enough. Enough for us just now. So that's going in the dish. There we go, a spoon, push that up. And hopefully that will soak up all the nice juices out of the uh, roasted marrow. See, it's completely light and fluffy, which is really nice. See how the marrow is doing. Oh, I'm all steamed up now. There we go, that looks like it's caramelised down nicely. Let's have a look. That's what that's looking like. It's looking very tasty. Nice and caramelised vegetables there. Put that back down for you. There we go, there's that. Can you see? That's the main thing. Right, so that's my broccoli done. Oh, that's hot. Let's steam out. There's no water to come out of that. I always put a little bit of salt on. Give that a sugar. Right, I'm going to dish up this marrow. See what this is like. Some of the nice tomatoes there. I think this will be enough for a couple of days. It might be nice cold actually, you know, if you have it as a bit of a side with a salad, it'd be quite nice. Nice roasted. Lovely. And it, it's not all in bits, which is good. There you go, one for me, one for Katie. Enough left in there. Some nice broccoli. Stall roasted marrow with couscous and broccoli. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing Pete fix the car. Let's tell about that, about. Uh, 
and me making some Moroccan style marrow with couscous. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy the marrow? Oh, I did actually, yeah, it's really nice. Oh, that's good. Why? What are you asking for? You know, everything you make is wonderful. Well. Well? You know what I've just found, don't you? Do you want to see? Go on then. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are you doing? That's for your tea tonight. I'll tell you something. That must be 90% water there, because that's so heavy, isn't it's it? It's really heavy, isn't I it? I didn't realise how heavy these bloody how things are. How much of it do you want? Oh, about uh, that much. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with the rest, but... Oh. My little marrow. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, bye from me. Bye from me. And bye from the marrow. Bye from the marrow. <laughs> See you on the other side. See you later, guys. Take bye. care. Bye. What did you think of the course yet, yeah, the roasted marrow dinner? Um, what? Nice will do. Okay. Nice will do. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was stonking. <laughs> now you're just taking the mickey. Oh no.